Martha, Martha, you are worried and offended about several things. But it says one thing is needful. Hmm? God must work on you. Work on you. That's why you see us keep teaching. Let me tell you, there are people in this ministry, by the grace of God and with all humility, I can select people at random. At random. And not, not to be cynical, most of them would qualify to be resident pastors in many circles and many denominations. But they are not even leaders. God is saying, sit down. I'm ministering to someone because you look at everybody around you this one reverend this one started his church yesterday this one this and you you are not even even an esco in the department i'm saying is it that lord you are not seeing me huh do, do, are, are you trying to say i'm not making progress whoever told you appointment is proof of progress If the lifespan of your commitment in the house of God is to be seen and to be appointed into offices, then it's a disaster. So you see people fight like politics. Oh, there is a vacancy. That vacancy is a deacon. And you see everybody coming to greet the pastor. Pastor, good afternoon. I just came to bless you and to let you know what is happening behind your back. I've got you covered. That's a manifesto. That's, that's, that's political party. When Jesus was going to select people that he would train, the Bible says he spent the whole night. Jesus, the fountain of wisdom, knew to appoint men to trust them with responsibility is a serious thing. You judge by the eye and see Eliab and say, surely this is God's anointed and God said, uh-uh, that's not how I choose. Oh. Look at the kind of people Jesus fasted all through the night to choose. You fast through the night and choose weaklings, thieves, fearful people. Why fast? Do you have to fast to see them? He fasted and saw what they would become, as weak as they were. They were already scribes and Pharisees. Jumping and saying, look, just restructure our mindset and that's all. We have reduced the journey. And God looked at a tax collector, wicked man very stupid people and say this is exactly what i'm looking for saul is on his way to damascus and god is looking at him what an apostle killing people you see the way god sees ba let me teach you something if you don't learn this you will make too many mistakes in your leadership and your church there are people seated here inside and outside let me tell you the dimensions they are walking in the spirit probably even me have not entered those dimensions yet they come quietly you see them sit down they are watching they are learning reminds me of how many how students are the real person who is taking first position is somewhere he will write every note with the example and the person who is second to the last yeah, I know that example. It came from uh, that, that uh, book. I, I know this man. I know the book he's reading. Yet he's taking second to the last at the end of the exam. But the one who is diligent will come and sit down and listen. Never promote people emotionally. Give them a chance to have a track record with God. Give them a chance to have a track record with God. Don't love people too much to unnecessarily expose them to levels. And do not flatter yourself into thinking, I think I am fit for a level. Let God himself accredit you. It says, Paul, a man approved, approved. There are illegal people. The same way there are jam centers. There are authorized jam centers. Correct? There are authorized hospitals. There are authorized drugs. And every authorized drug has a registration number. We call it NAFDAC registration number. Correct? Whether the drugs are big or small. Now, there are certain people who can connive with other nations and smuggle in drugs. Put the drugs and put camels on them. Do all kinds of things. It does not make it legal. The fact that it was successfully smuggled. 
those drugs in themselves may not kill but they have not been vetted by the institute that was put called navdak that's how it is spiritually you can get up and move and yet you have not been approved let me tell you when people are approved on earth they are assigned thrones in heaven a throne is a symbol of authority those thrones are not just thrones like they are thrones that affirm anointings and mantles and graces that's why somebody can come no rema no revelation but there is a track record and a throne that backs their words they can speak they can stand on behalf of heaven and speak and plead your case and turn around something that has no business turning around and you wonder how are they doing it brothers and sisters I want you to preach to yourself I receive grace to stay until he accredits me I receive grace to stay can you turn it into a prayer in one minute I believe that is the spirit of God that just led me to communicate that I receive grace to stay pray oh the head of department prayer is not seeing me are the leaders not seeing me is this pastor Femi not seeing me worship team are they not seeing me to give me songs no never lift yourself stay for when the season of appearing comes let me tell you no mortal man can stop you pray i receive grace shabrakato sadabala karyatash lembreketo kasubri atakatash brato sobrende gasho brakatosia pray 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 Lord, let me be built to its finest. Let me be one of your finest battle axes on earth. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly furnished. Not half baked. Thoroughly furnished. Unto all good works. I receive the grace to stay. I receive the grace to learn. I receive the grace to be built. It may take time, but I stay. I receive grace. I receive grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will get to our, our teaching proper, but I'm just stressing this. Oh, God is calling you to be a kingdom financier, and all of a sudden, you are killing yourself trying to wear every cloth, trying to buy every watch. Don't die for nothing god is calling you to be a prophet and all of a sudden you are forcing yourself to see you are not seeing anything this thing is not trial and error keep walking with god one day it will be like a joke you will wake up one morning into a portal a vista just opens up and say so this is what happens until then you force yourself you will see something and what you see will destroy your life destroy others you will bring all sorts of things because you are not trained i watch people and let me tell you this is with all humility i watch people and i see them not able to hold the sword of the spirit i see the disaster that they cause with those swords it takes a skill to hold that sword the bible says with wise counsel make war it, that you have a sword does not just mean you no 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 solomon held that sword in such a way that they could know which child you have to hold it well otherwise you will kill people when you are trained by god as a leader you will know when to talk and when to keep quiet they may expect you to speak but you have been so trained full of knowledge yet silent look at moses a man who was heavily anointed yet he never prophesied he kept quiet when the spirit on him came on 70 people none of them could stand yet all of that was in one man and he had self-control see a lot of childishness that goes on in the body of christ i'm preaching to someone some of those things look like the pathways for recognition you will never this honor let me tell you is a mantle it comes from heaven with a track record you can fake it and try to gather a lot of mediocres around your life but if there is no this this ranking you see increase it is god god left it to himself plant water you can increase yourself 
are we together men can look at your life and know you are growing preaching there are nine things i won't teach you today there are nine things that characterize the ministry of the world nine preaching or teaching what we call pulpit ministry is the eighth of the ninth eighth of it are we together so the ability to preach well is only one over nine nobody gets a with one over nine there are many other aspects are we together one of the requirements is to have the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity you must you must there are times god exposes you to things you have no business going through it has nothing to do with you that is the price you pay for carrying the anointing for the people it is the burden of the people he puts upon your spirit you must taste of it to qualify to minister to them yet there are all kinds of people moving around and will tell you i am this and that i am apostle this i am prophet this i am that and that and your name is emeka i say yes and then the man means that because you said it correctly he is a prophet and all kinds of blunders begin to come you break people's marriages destroy people's destiny because of imbalance all sorts of things i i am a kingdom millionaire i i don't take water in a, in a sachet again i have to use bottle because i'm going far my destiny is far and we do stupid things in the name of i believe in seeing well but faith is not foolishness now let me tell you the danger here is when you look around you you will see very few people subscribing to this pattern and it can intimidate you you are human there are times you sit and say lord but give me an opportunity to and god says you are about to derail you don't know the honor i'm bringing to your life you now want to destroy or run away from all this balloon success up today down tomorrow anointed today you crash tomorrow no god can give you consistency 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 the average ministry that is started in nigeria eight out of every ten close before the year is finished yet you see the convictions god told me i saw it so 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 our vision i saw this and that and in that vision we are going to the nations <sighs> if you do not understand what i'm teaching you tonight your life will be a track record of blunders sincere encounters that will never manifest in the earth realm till you go to be with the lord i want to save you years of pain are you ready to pray now open my eyes lift your voice and pray open my eyes open my eyes but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory you're the lifter up of my head but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head pray but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory the lifter up of my head but thou oh Lord had a shield for me my glory you're the lifter up of my head hallelujah listen to me there were two brothers in the bible born of the same father we understand called Cain and Abel two of them went to sacrifice and they thought they were doing the same thing listen every time there is no response from heaven find out why because he said if you did it rightly I have no bias for you if you did it rightly there are dimensions I have not entered as a person I don't get responses from heaven it's a sign that there is a level of alignment I need to step into because Benny Hinn will come under the same condition and there will be a response from heaven there are there are things I now do and I get responses from heaven that I did not get a response yesterday use the response from heaven to prove it's a sign 
you've been doing everything around your life there is no corresponding response why continue to flatter yourself i'm not doubting that you are a prophet but i'm saying sit down you carry what you call prophecy you will never go to the nations that way he cannot commit the heart of kings to you oh i'm a pastor call me pastor don't call me brother i'm not a brother i'm a pastor settle down the bible said they shall call you ministers of our god it's not a name you invent for yourself it's an inevitable product of a track record there are many of us already fighting superiors in different ministries they are not allowing men see me if you ever think that way it's a stupid thought from antichrist it's from the devil the bible says neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel are we together i just feel we should pray one more prayer again say lord i will wait until that grace comes i will wait until i step into the fullness of the grace and the ministry lift your voice and pray lord i will pray i will wait i am proud of where i am my contemporaries may go ahead of me but i'm not in a rush i'm not in a rush there is a making there is a making Lakata praka sodo bakariana balata. Being tried as gold. Being tried as gold. The gold of offering. The finest of them. Lekata praska da balada kasha da preska da balakasu. How is it grace? Grace. Grace. Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? Hey, a little bit, a little bit. Soon your day will come. Start working you, changing. 